It is a beautiful sunny day up here in the Emporium. You can kind of see it out. Oh, no, you can't see it out the window. Oh, there it goes. You can see how bright and sunny it is. The trees are starting to get the leaves. All the flowers are blooming. The trees are blooming. And I have six orders on eBay, all from the same customer. Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds and welcome back to my channel. I am a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. Today is going to be a sold video. And I have six orders on eBay, all from the same customer. You're wondering, hmm, what could that be? It's all in this box. Do you guys see that? I'm going to get it out and tell you everything about the dishes. I did a whole video on this set of dishes. These are from Germany. This is um, a gypsy is the name of the pattern and it is made by Heinrich. And some of these have the old stamp on them and some of them have the newer, let me turn the bowl over, have the newer stamp on them. You guys can read that. So you can see they were, the dishes were actually made at different times. And I did a whole video on the history of, of these dishes and talking about them. I will put a link somewhere in this video uh, so you can go and check that out. Or you can just go into uh, my other videos and find it. Uh, there, the thumbnail shows uh, this pattern dishes. And so she said, I want to buy your whole set. And I was like, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So I hadn't listed these up. I was, I had listed all of this stuff up and was waiting to list these. I'm not sure why, you know, I was listing other things in between. And then she said she wanted the whole set. I said, oh, I have two more items to list. So I hurried up and listed the gravy boat and the vegetable bowl here. And sure enough, she has purchased all of these. It's time to go pick an order. Got a sale on Poshmark. And it's in this box. What's in this box? This is all my baseball hats. Oh, I can see it already. It's right on top. It's this one. Let me get it out. I'll put it on the filing cabinet and tell you all about it. I just did a Poshmark video in my reseller vlog series and I mentioned that I had made a sale and it was this one and I told you a little bit about it in that video but I'm going to tell you uh, more about it now. I put it in this bag just to keep it from getting you know dusty or just to keep it in clean. clean. Um, oh, and oh I'm like what is that? That's right I put plastic bags in the bottoms of them to keep their shape. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to ship it that way or not. It depends. Uh, so this is the Ferrari Racing Team hat. It's got all the little, whoop, all the little logos on it. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. I just love that. I remember the cashier saying, "Oh, you found that one because this was buried." in a pile of hats. I think he had hid it when he was putting it out and was going to buy it for himself. I paid $1.99 for it and I sold it on Posh for $13 plus shipping. However, I got so many lowball offers on this hat and I had men try to explain to me that they don't pay more than that for hats and I'm like that's funny. You know the hats go for uh, anywhere from you know $12 being the lowest, whole way up to like $45 for hats. So I know that the prices are all over the place for hats. And I kept getting lowball offers for this hat on both eBay and Poshmark. And it went on and on and on. I could have sold this like a half a dozen times for like $12. And then I started getting $9 <laughs> offers. And I'm like, this is getting ridiculous. Like it's so funny that this particular hat is so popular but nobody wants to pay for it. Finally 
Somebody offered me $13 and I'm like, you know what? I just want to sell this hat and get rid of it. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get more money for some of my other hats. Um, and I would be happy if I had paid 50 cents and this was a generic hat and somebody offered me $12, I would have taken that or maybe even $9, depending on what kind of, you know, uh, like logos were on the hat. But in the end, I did fold and take what I consider a lowball offer of $13. Time to pick an order for eBay. It's over here in the closet. And I can see it right there. Ooh, look at that. Let me bring it over to my filing cabinet and I'll tell you where I got it, how much I paid for it, and how much it sold for. I found this at an estate sale. It was so pretty i just love the floral design i don't normally pick up any type of tins to sell i pick them up occasionally but i thought this one looks really unique and i'm just now realizing that when i listed this up on ebay maybe that's why it took so long to sell is i did not list it as a cloisonne style which is like this raised design here I put it as embossed. <laughs> this tin is made in Holland. It is a biscuit tin or a cookie tin. And uh, so, and it's vintage. Uh, uh, you can tell by the age of it. Um, it's not in perfect condition. Um, but I do know that these are collectible. Uh, and this is, like I said, not in the best of conditions. So I didn't put it at a high price. I sold it for, oh, let me tell you how much I paid paid for it first. I paid a dollar at the estate sale and I sold it for $10 plus shipping on eBay. I hope to find more of these style cookie tins because I would love to sell more of these. I would like to find the ones that my daughter finds. She found uh, that it's D-A-H-L, doll. Um, or is it Dar? Oh my goodness, I can't think now. I should really <laughs> look things up before I talk about them. I did tape this cookie tin lid on because I don't want it falling off. Uh, this tape is not very strong and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that is not going to like damage the this you know, in any way, taking off color or anything like that. So I use this uh, old masking tape that um, it works, but it's not very strong. I am actually going to try to put this in a blue mailbox. I'm going to walk up and if it fits, I'm going to ship it. If not, then I just got a few extra steps today, which I always need my steps. And then I'll have to drive it to the post office. It's time to go picking another order. This one on Poshmark. It is in the closet. Let's get the light on. And it's in this box. If you guys remember from the last sale, what's in this box? All oh, baseball hats. Which one sold this time? Ooh, this one right here. Let me get it out and I'll tell you all about it. If you guys remember, not that long ago, I showed you a bunch of baseball hats that I had and I called them bread and butter items. Well, they become more bread and butter as the warmer weather gets here. This is the second one I've sold in a row here. This is the Mercedes-Benz one. It's white with the pink emblem on it. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. Of course, I'm going to pick it up. I I wouldn't even have to comp something out when it's that kind of price. When you're at grad sales and they're telling you less than a dollar for things, you don't have to look it up on eBay. Just say, yep, I'll take that. So I paid 50 cents for it and I sold it on Poshmark for $16 plus shipping.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Put any comments or questions down below. I love reading your comments. I will catch you guys later.